Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Hi, I have come to realize that for my Patreon's last month's rewards, I actually didn't film the process of packing the orders. Every month I do that. And I also didn't share with you what the rewards were. I worked on this one both by hand and digital and the sticker was fully digital. And today my stickers for the upcoming month have arrived. So I already have the postcard and sticker for September, but I didn't share with you the ones for August. And I thought of doing both of them today. So my postcard for Patreon rewards for August was this one here. This is a digital and hand painting that I did based on North America wildflowers. And this is how it looks up front. I thought it could be super fun to just work with uh, a palette of three colors. So I have like a whitish, a greenish, and a light green um, for each of them. It was super fun to have such a uh, muted palette instead of making, you know, a different color palette for each of the plants, the leaves, etc. And I base this digital version, the postcard, from this hand watercolor and drawing ink painting that I did earlier this year. But for this one, I decided to work on a different palette for the actual flowers and leaves. This is how it looks on the back. Each month I change it up a bit. And I'm loving working with this new company. I'm always also still looking for the perfect one. This paper is not recycled, but it is um, FSC approved, FSC certified, and it's, you know, like 
uh, harvested. I don't know if the word for paper is harvested, but it's harvested in the best way possible. I would love to find a company that makes uh, all the beautiful details, but in 100% recycled paper, but one step at a time. And for these month's stickers, I worked on a dragonfly. And this is my first time ever doing dragonflies. I wanted to work on these ones, which are the blue Asher dragonfly. They are all over uh, up here in the Hudson Valley. In spring and summer, they are all over. There's this lake that we love to go to and they, they're they always there for the past few months. Every time that we go there, I always have one of these blue ashers come and either sit anywhere in my body, like on my shoulder, on my hand, on my knees, and we just hang there together. They are so beautiful, and they are this mix in between purplish, blue. They are so beautiful, so I wanted to make a little ode to the blue dasher dragonfly, which I just met when moving here to the Hudson Valley. And these were the rewards for August. Let me show you the ones that just arrived, which are the September rewards. And for September rewards, we have these postcards, which are a digital version of my latest small painting. This one is, if you saw a vlog that I did a couple weeks ago, this one is based from a painting that I did on the Slow Painting Days video. And it's um, a painting that features a bunch of my favorite current plants and mushrooms. Right here we have Lady Vale, we have Rosemary, purple coral mushrooms, we have reishi, chanterelle, um, there's the polka dot begonia, which I have here in my studio, a photos and some um, constellations. And these are the postcards. And this one here is the handmade original painting that I did. This is the digital postcard. I, as you can see, I did the constellations digitally. Those weren't part from the original painting, but that's something that I love about, you know, scanning and then having the capability of create something new. And for create, that's one of the main reasons why I love to do some play around the digital versions. And for the sticker this month, And for the sticker this month, I worked on the Mimosa Pudica flower. You may be familiar with Mimosa Pudica, not the flower itself. The us usually the one that gets everyone's attention are the leaf. It's also called the sensitive plant because the leaves of the Mimosa Pudica are super tiny and if you touch them, they all just like close together. If you look up sensitive plant or Mimosa pudica, which is a scientific name, you'll see both the beautiful leaves that shut down with a touch. Poking them is not usually what they love because at the end of the day they have to be closing and opening all the time. That's a survival skill they have and if people are just playing with them all the time they they can get very debilitated very easily. Um, that's something that I actually learned recently. But the flower, I am obsessed with the Mimosa Pudica flower because it's this small, beautiful pompon. You can see it here. All of these are tiny fragmented, um, tiny fragment petals. I also shared with you in another vlog how I made the digital painting for this one. And I was actually super excited to work in the Mimosa Pudica flower because I've painted this flower before on my evolution of fungi, no, on my evolution of plant painting. It's on the top right, right next to the Cofe Arabica, the coffee plant. And I am just so in love with the flower. It's actually family or genre, it's the cousin of dandelion. It's very similar to the dandelion flower, but it has beautiful fuchsia and pink colors. And I really loved how it turned out. 
I also love how they look together. So these are the rewards for September, but we are moving out of here August 31st. I just wanted to order them before we left, so I know I have them. I don't, you know, we're moving to another town, so I don't know how long the postal service takes there, and I'd rather have my rewards ready so then we can ship them when we move or as soon as we come back from our trip. And yeah, I just wanted to share with you the upcoming rewards and within the next few days, I need to start bringing down and turning down the studio, packing everything up as we're moving in like four days, I believe. Um, so I need to start doing that. But before doing that, I wanted to share these with you and that's everything. And before we continue with the rest of today's vlog, I wanted to share with you a little bit about today's video sponsor, which is Squarespace. They are the virtual home for my online shop, my art portfolio, my mailing campaigns, my website, and all digital things Caro Arevalo. So let me share a little bit about them with you. Some of my favorite Squarespace features include their professional portfolio and gallery designs to showcase my artwork with automatic image scaling to any viewing device. I also love how easy it is to manage my online shop and connect it to my social media accounts. Thank you once again Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Feel free to use the code Caro Arevalo if you want to get a sweet discount with them when you purchase your first website or domain. Before we start packing, I wanted to make a low-key home tour to show you how we decorated the loft we called home for the past year and a half. This is our living room. This painting I did in 2015 and below it's all Vivo's workout gear. I love to make little altars in as many corners as I can and I love to make each corner feel welcoming. So here we have the workout corner and another ladder with small altars. Candles, lotus and a very special chessboard that was made by our friends Andrea and Alonso. This chessboard is made with Peruvian quartz and amethyst and we are actually just taking care of it until they come pick it up in New York. Above the TV, we have a bunch of artwork from artists we love and friends who are artists and we love their work as well. And as the loft didn't have doors, we added some bamboo curtains to separate the spaces. Here we have the kitchen. This has been the most beautiful kitchen I've ever had. I love not only the big windows, but also all the open space to cook and prep food. This right here is my elixir corner, where I make all my potions of sorts. Here, I keep my plant and mushroom powders, tinctures, teas, and more. Ivo and I love, 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 love to cook. As you may have heard, everyone in Peru is a foodie and we are no exception. The spices corner. This is the beautiful olive oil, vinegar, salt and pepper sets we scored when thrifting here in Kingston. And here is our studio, which you may already know very well. Usually we share this space, but as the summer has been super hot, Ivo moved his desk to our bedroom next to the AC.
This is our altar. Above, we have my Evolution of Plants painting and to the right, my bio art studio. We love to keep special gifts from friends and family. I feel they welcome in good new energies. And of course, here we have my beloved studio's window, which faces the maples. The studio has been by far my favorite of all time. I am truly in love with the windows, the maples, the light, and how spacious the studio is. It was a beautiful place to create and get inspired. Now, here is the bathroom. When we moved here, I wanted to make the bathroom a little prettier, so I got this wallpaper at Etsy, which I truly love. I added some baskets to make it a little cozier, and this shelf for our detergents, shampoo, and conditioner bars. This was my very first time having a Spanish shower and no bathtub. It was a new experience for sure. And lastly, let me share with you our bedroom. This is our bedroom, the largest bedroom either of us has ever had. We have two mirrors, our bed, a gigantic monster plant, and the open closet. Every day at around 4 p.m. during sunny days, the shadows from the maple trees made the most beautiful shapes on the windows. They would dance with the wind and it became a beautiful spectacle to watch. So this is my low-key home tour. I hope you enjoyed it. So what I'm working on today is today I'm recording a video. I'm recording a drawing tutorial for Patreon for the month of September. Last month on one of our Patreon exclusive videos, we did a tutorial on how to work on a live herbarium page dissecting a sunflower. And that lasted over an hour. We went through every single tiny piece of the dissecting process, what is an herbarium, etc. So today what we're working is pretty much on part two of that video. Today I'm filming a tutorial on how to make an illustration based on a dissecting live page for, from an herbarium. So I have my live species here. I needed to plan beforehand to go to the flower farm and get some sunflowers. Sunflowers are blooming in the Hudson Valley right now. And today we, you know, I'm filming this tutorial, which will be just a drawing, so just black ink pencil, eraser, and I have everything ready as they're, they are still doing construction in this building upstairs that usually goes Monday to Friday. So today is Sunday and I'm trying to do all my filming during the weekends before we leave. Um, so in that way, the sound is not interrupting and I'm not like making a five hour video when I could just do it in one. So that's why I'm recording on a Sunday. I'm actually taking off Wednesday next week. So my weekend and my days off have switched this time around. Um, and yeah, that's what I'm working on today. The camera where it's set right now, is set where I'm filming the intro and the outro for the video, but then I set up, let me show you. But then I'll set up the tripod where my camera is right now and these overhead tripod that I got. So the camera goes up here and then 
it's so much easier to film a, a aerial look tutorial. I love these things that I got. Mm. For filming tutorials and just like time lapses from working on my table. And also, I was supposed to be filming this yesterday, but then I cut my hand cutting an avocado in a very wrong way. So I wanted to give my hand some rest. I just let it rest all day yesterday it's been 24 hours and it's already closed the wound is already closed but you know i'm still trying to be super careful <clears throat> careful and going slow about filming this tutorial but yeah i just wanted to share that with you as this is also part of what i'm doing in my art business not related to painting for the sakes of painting um, or my personal art project but more of a filming a tutorial behind the scenes and I'll stop talking and I'll start actually filming the tutorial. In this tutorial, we learn different techniques to use when drawing from nature, as well as how to create different textures with just one pen. I love creating these classes and can just get immersed in every single detail forever. The second tryout for the artist proofs has arrived. The artist proofs are pretty much prints that I'm creating on the size, on the paper, with the tones and everything ready as if this would be the prints for the actual edition. This year I'm releasing the first edition and I don't know if I already shared this, but the but the pre-order is launching two days from now, so Thursday, and it will be open up until September 15th. After that, the edition will close and I'll only make the prints for the amount of pre-orders requested. That will be all the prints available for the first edition. And this time next year, I will open a new edition so that, so next year, 2023, it'll be the second edition for the fungi painting prints. And every year I will open a new edition. Each edition will have something different. So either it'll be a different size, maybe a different quality of paper, um, maybe a different type of border and whatnot. So I'm very excited that these are the second trial for the artist proofs and these are the ones that I will be staying with. These are the perfect tone, the color, the paper, all the details are where they are supposed to be. And I already made all the gifts that I was going to do for the launch of the pre-order. I also did the... I already scheduled the products on my shop so tomorrow for patreon on thursday for everybody else now evo will be wor working on the newsletter um he also did an amazing time lapse which i cannot believe it was like 21 hours of content that he made into a 16 minute video i believe it's around 16 minutes so now i'm gonna be doing the voice off for that video and Tomorrow we're taking the day off and then there's no sleep until moving and then traveling. So that's a bit about what's happening in these upcoming days.
It is August 25th and this morning at 11 a.m. I launched the fungi prints. Today is the first day that the open edition is available and it will be open up until September 15th. So, you know, this time around the prints are 29 by 26 inches. They are in Hannah Mule paper archival, acid, lignin-free, all the good stuff. Um, and I'm shipping them with the fungi key that I've been working on, as well as with a certificate of authenticity. The As soon as September 15th, that's the day that the edition closes, that day I'll order the prints only for the amount that were bought in the pre-order, and that will be the first edition. And this morning after, you know, releasing the lunch and everything, I took my day myself on a celebratory date to drink a cup of matcha um, because I truly believe in celebrating the big, celebrating the small, celebrating how, you know, I've worked on this painting for more than two years and I still don't have a buyer for the original and I it's completely uncertain always working on something so intricate that takes so much time without even having a buyer neither for the original or the prints because you know maybe I do the launch and no one gets the prints um, maybe a lot of people do maybe some people do and I think that that is something to celebrate, that fact that artists of all types um, and people that follow a dream project are just like, you know what, this is something that I truly want to do with all my heart. And the uncertainty is there, but we still show up with all the love. And today I just wanted to take a moment to <sighs> go out and remind myself that that is something beautiful to keep showing up and keep working on it and and do it with all the love without having a monetary value that is already um secure monetary value that is secure but it's more than anything this is a project that i truly want to birth this is something that i really want to do and that is what the fungi painting has been and i really wanted to thank you for you know being my partner in crime in this journey and seeing that 30,000 vlogs and videos and stories and posts that I've made about this painting. Maybe a lot of you are like, gotta stop with the painting already. Maybe some of you are like, I love it. I love the journey, but it's been so beautiful to feel that, you know, this is a safe space to share about something when it could be so repetitive or maybe I'm thinking ah I could have done like 30 paintings you know all the chatter but I feel that it's just beautiful to share this experience and keep inspiring one another and I will soon stop talking about the fungi painting and I'll start talking about the next painting that I'll be working on which is most definitely or probably the eukaryotic painting that I started in 2019 um, you know, it's a day of celebration and besides that, it's also a day of packing because we are moving in five days and there's a lot of packing that still needs to happen while I am here in the studio that it's still up. The packing has officially started and that's what I will be doing now. The last day of the month arrived and it was time to say goodbye to this home, space, womb. We arrived as four, 
two humans and two cats. And we are leaving as four, two humans and two cat spirits who have crossed the rainbow bridge. This home taught me so much about loving, growing, expanding, surrendering, putting boundaries, standing up for my rights, living it better than we found it, and being thankful for it all. We decided to move with the company Piece of Cake. This is a company we've used for our last few moves since leaving Brooklyn in 2020, and the only company we've ever used for moving, for that matter. We've also used Piece of Cake's storage services when we were in between homes, and in all our moves, we've had a great experience with them. This time around, they did call me less than 24 hours before our move, saying they made a mistake and hadn't seen our pickup address and had to make a change to our quote last minute. Thankfully, we were able to find a solution with them and not have to pay a surprising fee at the last minute. This is what I mean when I say I love working with companies and people that are solution-driven. Moving day can be a lot, especially when moving both your home and your small art business. But Piece of Cake was super helpful in making our move easier and smoother. We are both so happy to be moving even a little closer to nature. This is my first time ever living in a house, and it's the first time me and my partner live together in a house. We are moving only 20 minutes away to Woodstock to a little forest within the Hudson Valley. Thank you so much for tuning in to my last video in this space. And thank you for sharing your time with me. Thank you once again to Squarespace for sponsoring this blog. You can use the code Caro Arevalo to get a sweet discount with them. Wishing you a beautiful rest of your day.